Hi, welcome back everyone. We are in the process of creating a 2D sketch that represents what these curved stairs are going to look like and then we will convert those using the stair command into 3D stairs. Let's continue with this sketching. I'm going to go to the annotate tab back to my detail line and I am going to use the array command. So it looks like I'm already yeah, sorry, escape a couple times, use the modify. I want to use this array command. And I'm going to array this line up through the end of the arc. And so I'm going to select this line, choose array, and make sure that I am paying attention up here in the green properties dialog. So I want a radial array. I want uh, to continue to group and associate. I want 18 of these lines which are going to turn into risers. I want to go through 90 degrees and I want to place the center of rotation. And of course now it becomes obvious why it's nice to have that center mark visible. Click that and so I'm ready to array this line. I'm going to use a start point which is down here. Rotate up through 90 degrees and click the end point and I have um, this completed array ready. I'll press enter, escape a couple times, and there's my finished array. So at this point, we're ready to use the stair command to convert this sketch into a 3D stair. So let's do that. Architecture, stair, and uh, I'll cancel that. And so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, edit the type of these stairs and duplicate them. All right, and we're going to name these as the textbook asks us to, to corridor stairs. Click OK. And I'm just going to click OK here with no other changes. I'm going to come back and customize these stairs later. So here, uh, we do want to bring our stairs from the first floor to the second floor. So base level is level one, and the top level is level two. So here's where 18 came from in that array. Revit is calculating how many risers it takes to get from level one to level two using a nominal seven inch riser and it calculates that it's pretty close to seven inches but it is less than and of course the international business code says that seven inches is the maximum riser okay so we're going to sketch this stair right but we already have created our sketch so we need to select a boundary risers and stair path so let's start up here with the boundary and we're never going to draw anything here now. We're simply going to pick the objects that we've already sketched. So pick lines, and I need to pick the inside and outside arcs. And that becomes the boundary of the stairs. Now we're going to select risers. Make sure I have pick lines selected. And I'm going to select each of these um, arrayed lines. Each time I do, I want to make sure that the riser count down below at the bottom of my stairs is increasing. Uh, if I don't get all of these as registered as risers, of course, my stairs will end up being too short. Just continue moving through. And here it looks like I'm going to need to hit tab once or twice to actually get to the line as opposed to the edge of the floor. And I have those risers selected and notice down here at the bottom here that I have 18 risers uh, selected. So now I need to select a stair path. I'm going to use this pick line again and the path that my stairs want to follow is this center arc. I have that selected and I'm just going to choose my green check mark. And I get uh, what appears to be some stairs. So let's go look at it in 3D. And I did leave out one key command, and that's the railings.
And I also, as we can notice, I think I have my stairs backwards. So let's fix a few things. So here's my stairs. Um, hit escape. And let's see, I'm going to need to select these stairs. And flip the up down direction. Nothing changed. I can see that my up arrow is coming here. If I come back to 3D, it now looks correct, which is nice. Come back to my working level, and I want to add a railing to these stairs. Uh, let's see, I'm going to add them over the treads, which is OK. Uh, no, I think I want to add them over the stringers. All right, and so finally, stairs are going to be done. I'm going to come back and customize these according to the textbook requirements here in a minute. So I'll click OK to finish, completely finish my stair command, go back and look at it in 3D. And I have um, curved stairs. It has railings on the side up over the stringers, which is what I'm looking for and I'm ready to customize these stairs. I think we're going to do that in the next chapter, and then we will mirror stairs to the other side. Hope this has been valuable, and we'll see you in the next chapter.